I'm making penne arrabbiata. Arrabbiata sauce is really kind of a classic Italian pasta sauce made with tomatoes. Mine has an unbelievable amount of garlic in it, which I'm gonna cook very slowly in olive oil. It's gonna be really sweet and delicious. So nobody wants to peel 24 cloves of garlic. So what I do is I blanch them in a pot of boiling water just for about 15 seconds. And then you'll see the skins just slip right off, just like that. Okay, so that's a cup. So I've got 2 thirds of a cup of olive oil that I've got warmed. I'm gonna put the garlic in and just cook it for about 10 minutes, just until the outside is like just barely browned and the inside's really tender. So I've got two 28 ounce cans of San Marzano tomatoes. I think San Marzano are the best quality canned tomatoes. And I've got whole tomatoes. I'm gonna put them in the food processor and just chop them up. I'm just putting them in the food processor so I can control the consistency of the tomatoes. And I'm draining them because I don't want the sauce to be watery. Nobody wants watery sauce. Okay, you can make Bloody Mary's out of the rest. <laughs> okay, get them in, good. And then I'm just gonna chop them up. Just like that. You don't want a puree, you just want them roughly chopped. Okay, I'm gonna take the garlic and put it right into the tomatoes. And then I'm gonna chop that up and then cook it all together. This recipe actually is inspired by Missy Robbins who has the most incredible pasta restaurant in New York called Missy, it's in Brooklyn. And she makes her arrabbiata sauce with 24 cloves of garlic and it's so good. And then I'm just gonna chop that up. So you get bits of garlic in the sauce. And then this whole thing goes right back into the oil. Try and do it without getting it all over yourself. So this is going back on the stove. Turn on the heat. And I'm gonna take two teaspoons of fennel seeds. You can do it in a mortar and pestle, but I think this is actually better to grind them yourself. What I do is just chop them up and they're gonna bounce all over the place, but it's really worth it. And I think what you do is you get a lot of the oils out of the fennel seeds. Just give it a rough chop like that. They're gonna get tenderized when the sauce cooks. Okay, right into the sauce, right there. One teaspoon of hot red pepper flakes. Okay, next is a third of a cup of red wine. Yum, a tablespoon of salt. Make sure it's really well seasoned. Teaspoon of pepper. I'm always looking for how flavors complement each other, how the tomatoes make the red wine taste better, how the red wine makes the fennel taste better. This is gonna do exactly that. The garlic flavors everything. So I'm just gonna bring it to a boil and then lower the heat and let it simmer for 30 minutes. I'm almost done with the arrabbiata sauce. I'm just gonna add some fresh basil to it. Gives it a nice, fresh, kind of peppery flavor. Okay, about a quarter of a cup, right into the sauce. So I've got a big pot of boiling water, salt, and one pound of penne, and I'm cooking it to about two minutes less than it requires for al dente. And that's because I'm gonna cook it in the sauce. Okay, pasta should be done, or at least two minutes less than done, and I'm just gonna, with a wire strainer, just put it right into the pasta sauce. And that way, all of the pasta sauce gets absorbed into the pasta and it really flavors it. Very often what we do is we serve pasta and then we put the sauce on top and it just kind of sits on the top, but this way it cooks into it. And a little bit of the starch from the pasta really thickens the sauce. So the two elements really work together. And I'm gonna save the pasta water if I need a little extra water. So that's all the pasta. Just give it a big stir. And I'm gonna cook this for about two minutes. And you know what, it does need a little water. So, I have a ladle. It's always surprising to me. Missy taught me how much water to put into a sauce, which is incredibly surprising. You think you're gonna water it down, and in fact, it does just the opposite. I'm just gonna cook this all together. Oh, man overboard. <laughs> it's gonna cook together for two minutes. The pasta will be perfectly cooked, and the sauce will be just really silken and delicious. 
can really smell the garlic. But it's like soft, not sharp. In the meantime, while that cooks, I'm gonna julienne a little more basil for garnish. I love pasta because you can make the sauce in advance. Just cook the pasta, cook it together, and you've got a fabulous dinner. Big salad, I'm a happy camper. Okay, so clear the decks. You need a big bowl. And the pasta should be done. Oh, this looks gorgeous. And you can really tell that the tomato sauce has gotten into the pasta. Mm, who wouldn't want to have this for dinner? A little fresh basil on top. Some Parmesan cheese, because of course you can never have too much Parmesan. A fork. <laughs> this is the kind of dinner anybody in the family would love. It's just not your ordinary tomato sauce. This is pasta arrabbiata with 24 cloves of garlic. Mmm, and it tastes so good. <laughs>